What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to some more MLB The Show 20. Unfortunately, we lost that three, that four game series to Toronto, three games to one. But it's okay. We're starting a two game series against the Rockies, but this time we're playing at home. And for today's matchup is John Gray versus Carlos Rodon. So I hope you guys enjoy. And if you do hit that like button, and if you're new, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Colorado Rockies and the Chicago White Sox. Striding into the box, Trevor Story. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Trevor, he's ready. Here's the first offering. Comes at him with the slider there, and he gets the strike. Good slider there, gets a swing and miss. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Nope. That misses one and two. Temperature was in the 70s earlier today, but 59 at game time tonight. Line drive to left. There to make the catch is Jimenez, and there's one away. So the base is empty here with one away. And up next, postseason record holder Daniel Murphy. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Hey, this offense better be prepared to pull a trigger. This starter is known to be aggressive and come right after you. One and one to the Rockies first baseman Radon has become known as a starting pitcher that frequently works deep into games kind of guy you want on the staff when your team needs some rest because he tends to eat up innings all by himself Matt every team is looking for a guy like this in a day and age where we're going to the bullpens more early and more often you need at least one or two guys into the rotation that have the chance to get you into the seventh or eighth inning and he's definitely one of those guys two and oh now Lofted in the air out toward right center. Mazar is under it. Two gone. So coming to the plate, Charlie Blackman, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the stretch. Starts him out with a slider too low for ball one. Blackman, or Chuck Nasty, as he's commonly referred to. He was taken in the second round during the 2008 draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. He's got it. Throw over to Abreu is in time, and with it, the side is retired. Now in the box, Nick Madrigal. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. Two and one count to the Pale Hose leadoff hitter. This is skied into short left center. Coming in is Dahl. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. And the next to bat will be Tim Anderson. He'll be looking for better results in this one. He was 0 for 4 in the ball game back on Sunday. Too high that time with the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. So here's Jose Abreu looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Now here's the pitch. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Late swing there at the breaking ball. Must have been looking for something else. 
Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Now to the plate, David Dahl. He'll start things out in the top half of the second. Here comes the first pitch. And right into the shift. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. There's a fastball pretty close that time, but ruled a ball one and one. Taken called strike two on the inside part of the plate one and two now. Here's the pitch. And a good take there close, but it's two and two. That was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just catch the back door a little bit, he would have picked up that backwards K. Ready with another 2 2. Hit sharply on the ground, and that finds its way through for a base hit. At the plate, Ian Desmond, as he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner, it's 0 and 1. Ground ball to second. This could be two. To second for one. To Abreu for the big double play. So bases are empty here with two gone. And Ryan McMahon digs into bat next. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. A ball and a strike. A ball and two strikes. The count to Ryan McMahon. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel to that one. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Settling in now, Edwin Encarnacion. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. The dedicated hitter. Here's the pitch. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. Count even now at one and one. And the pitch. One and two as he chases the slider. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. The count is full, three and two to the White Sox DH. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Standing in, Elo Jimenez, as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. On, he takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. And it's fouled away. Struck him out. So bases are empty here with two gone. Yeah, that brings up the versatile Nomar Mazzara. First pitch of the at-bat. And that misses for ball one. Hit to second. Scooped up. Go to Murphy. He'll take care of him, and that'll end the inning. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 
Ball wrapped up front. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Hit hard down the line, but a foul ball, one and two now. In tight with the slider, two and two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. That'll bring up Tony Walters. Lays off 1 and 0. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. And he looks at a slider in there. 1 and 1. 1 and 2 now as that one's fouled off. Working for the punch out and the offering. And that's high for a ball. It's 2 and 2. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. One ball, no strikes to count. Now the 1 0 misses for the second ball. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. That's back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn, however. The second for one. The turn throw is in time. And what do you know? They do get the double play. Daniel Murphy steps in now. A base hit in his first trip. He set and the pitch. Hit out towards second. Reined in. Throw over to Abreu is in time, and with it, the side is retired. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. Here comes the first pitch. Grandal. Now the pitch. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. Here's a pop-up now. And there's your first out of the inning. Stepping in, Luis Robert. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. And he watches one miss outside. 2-0 now. Now the pitch. 3-0 now. You know, when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game, a three ball count kind of feels like a little mini rally. Let's see if he can get on. Three and one the count now. The pitch. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. At the plate, Larry Garcia. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. In the dirt here. And no advance. It's ball one. Robert stands at first with one out. And there he goes towards second. Pitch outside the throw. And now he throws on the brakes, but he can't get back to first, and he's nailed for the second out. Big mistake there. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. Three and one the count now. And he takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Blackman is under it. And that ends the inning. In now, Nolan Arenado as we begin the top of the fourth. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Center fielder giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. 
So the bases are empty with one man gone. And in the bat next, the big time RBI man, Charlie Blackman. First delivery to him on the way. And he pours this one in at the letters, 0 and 1. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love. It. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side, and the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into bat next will be the outfielder, David Dahl. And he lays off there 1-0. So far this year against Southpaws, Dahl is carrying around a batting average in the 320s. That's what you might call potent. Yeah, this is a great spot for him right now. He just seems to have been picking up left-handed pitching great all season long. Slap hard the opposite way. Jimenez has got it, and the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now. Stepping into the box, Nick Madrigal. He flew out in his last at bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit on the ground to short. Story picks it up. And quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. Digging in, no, Tim Anderson no, 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 no. flied out in his first at bat, so making yeah. 0 for 1 so far. Anderson. Now here it comes. This is line to left. And the White Sox have their first hit of the game. So here's the slugging Jose. first baseman, Jose Abreu, now. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. A one pitch on its way and they pitch out here but nothing's going on pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four a line shot to third base and it got there so quickly the runner didn't get very far from the bag they settle with just the one out so to the plate is the White Sox DH Edwin Encarnacion so far 0 for 1 with a fly out one ball no strikes to count Can't connect there on the breaking ball. One and one. And this is a ball to Encarnacion. Two and one now. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Now batting, Ian Desmond comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Robert is right there, one down. So one away here with the bases empty. And Ryan McMahon digs in to bat next. First offering on its way. The windup and the 0-1. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. He throws him on the fastball there. Ryan McMahon goes down for out number two in the top half. Fouled off. You got to be careful with this guy here. He can really handle the bat. Even though there are two outs, he might try to drop one down for a base hit. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Up next for Chicago, Emo Jimenez. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got a bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. 
So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. And this is swung on and missed, and the American League's leading hitter is gone on strikes, one away. In now the power hitting outfielder, Nomar Mazzara. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Breaking ball that's cut on and missed for the first strike. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Blackman is under it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. First pitch coming, here it is. Breaking ball below the zone, that's ball one. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly, it's been a treat to watch. Curveball swung out and missed. Two and one now. Ah, and he got him to chase after a bad one there. Two and two. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. So digging in now, Luis Robert. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two-out walk. Always considered a big no-no, of course. And a strike called at the letters. Looked high to me, but it's nothing in one. Ball one. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Taken, strike two called, and it's even at two and two. Hey, I don't blame him for giving up on that curveball. That was a rainbow coming out of the sky. Stole a strike. Count all the way full to the White Sox center fielder. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Fouled away. The 3 2 one more time. And he may be starting to lose the feel here as that misses for ball four, and that's back to back walks now with two away. The third baseman. Now at the plate, Leury Garcia flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Good off speed pitch, had him out in front for strike one. One and one. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Two and two. Here it is. Lifted in the air out to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Digging in, Tony Walters, one for one after a single his first time up. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Hit hard to short. Anderson picks it up. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Trevor Story steps in now. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. First delivery to him on the way. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there. Going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Count remains at 0-2. swing but it's strike three anyway says the home plate umpire and that's out number two digging in once again Daniel Murphy one for two he's singled and grounded out so far and they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one ball one as he lays off below the zone the one one
Line drive base hit. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. He offers at it and sends a bouncer out to short. Anderson brings it in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Bottom of the sixth inning now. Ready once again, Nick Madrigal. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Pitch on the way. Madrigal. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. And oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night, working that outer half of the plate. That's why he's having so much success. The 2 2. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this will land untouched. The 2 2 one more time. These are the kind of A.B.'s, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Oh, and he can only battle no for so long as he's finally set no down stop. here after an eight-pitch yeah. at-bat. Line toward center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second no out. So striding forward now, Jose Abreu hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like And the catcher grabs it to retire the side. The inning is over. So here's the cleanup hitter, Charlie Blackman. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. That elevated fastball right there, that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. Throw is not in time, and a great job of legging that out. Go ahead, run is on base to lead off the inning. David Dahl to the plate now. Pitch to him is a changeup. He can't find the zone. It's ball one. Looking at his career totals, Dahl is carrying around his slugging percentage up over 500. Obviously, a huge threat every time he grabs a bat. One there on the first. Go ahead, run being on base. He's erased on the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Ian Desmond. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. A ball that's carrying. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Edwin Encarnacion to the plate now. He'll be the man to lead things off here in the bottom of the seventh. Not sure if this is a powerhouse pitching performance. bad hitting. We're moving. About time somebody puts something together to try to score a run. There to make the catch is Arenado for the first out. Coming. Nilo Jimenez. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Outside target here, and he hits. The bouncer to the left side. Gloved by Arenado. That's him. Two down. Digging in to try it again. No more. In two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat. Mazzara is to deep right. Blackman looking up, and as is heard on television all throughout Chicago, you can put it on the board. Yes! What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows, finally able to get this offense potentially going. The bat being shut out all game, but not anymore. And here's the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. 
and the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. Here's Ryan McMahon now. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving in this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control. Oh, and there's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Now that is number one. Standing in now, Garrett Hampson, as he takes a cold strike on the black. It's 0-1. Hey, this guy's been throwing a gem so far. We're moving on later into this game. And he's right at about league average for first pitch strikes. Left field line in deep. And that will end. But this is a foul ball. The count holds steady at one and two. Line to the right side. But strong out there and pull this one down for the first down. So one gone for the Rockies here in the eighth. That brings up the catcher, Tony Walters. Walter. Hard to the right side. Foul. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The 0-2 delivery. Inside is that perhaps at one and well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked. And this will kick off the third base bag. And they won't get an out from this as he's able to reach on a play that you just don't see very often. Stepping in now, Trevor Story. As he'll take a look at ball one. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Line drive to left. Jimenez will have plenty of room as he makes the catch. And there's a big out number two. Here's Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. At the ball. Count one and oh. One and oh. Here it is. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball. One and one. Boy, the Rockies have been looking for that big hit all game long. They haven't been able to come through so far, but now would be the time to come through. Back to him, and oh, that's off his leg. Great support from his infield, though, as that's the third out. Weird way to end the inning. Jairo Diaz is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 37. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Stepping up now, Luis Robert. It was a walk in his last trip. He set. Here it comes. This one's flared off to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. So after the leadoff base hit, they'll have his wheels to contend with here. to the right side. The third baseman. To the plate now, Larry Garcia. Pitch inside the throw. He's not going to get him as he swipes second. A 1 0 delivery. Swing and a looper to left. Coming in is Dahl. He can't get there as it falls in, but he gets back in time safe at second base. Into the box, Nick Madrigal. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Well, he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0 and 2. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. These are the situations right here that make me miss wearing a uniform. The big spot, the cat and mouse of what's he going to throw. I'm down 1 2. Can I battle back? The pitcher's trying to put me away. This is what the game's all about. Yanked on the ground down the line. And 
And a reach with the backhand, but he comes up empty as that gets by him. And a very important insurance run comes across to score from second. It's a 2-0 ball game. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Tim Anderson. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Garcia is on his way home. Madrigal rounds third and is digging for the plate. Now the relay home. And not in time as the second run scores. Wade Davis is on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. The first baseman, Jose Abreu. In now, Jose Abreu. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. That's in there. Base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. The designated hitter, Edwin Encarnacion. Edwin Encarnacion now. And so look at a fastball too high for ball one. A ball and a strike. One and one. This is a ball to Encarnacion. Two and one now. Two and two now. You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. And he misses with it, ball four. So that'll load the bases. And now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. First pitch on its way. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. When you're hitting in a situation like this, you have to find a way to slow your heart rate down. The pitcher's the one with all the pressure. You're looking at keyhole something, middle of the plate, and drive some runs in. Too high, and it's 3-0. and oh. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Digging in and looking for more, Nomar Mazzara is coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a chopper to second. This will be a tough turn. There's one, and he's in there safely as a run will score on the play as well. On to first, but not in time. It's a fielder's choice and an RBI. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Now the 0-1. Six runs, seven hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. One and two to the White Sox catcher. One ball, two strikes, you count. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Coming to the plate again, Luis Robert has held back for the second time in the inning. First offering on its way. In the center field, line drive base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's 7-0. Carlos Estevez centers now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. So now to the plate, Leury Garcia as he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 0-1 delivery. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is retired. 
Here's Nolan Arenado, not providing much out of the three hole in this one. Hitless in three at bats so far. Arenado. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. This is line to left. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Here's Charlie Blackman now. And so watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Lined into left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. And that will bring up the speedy outfielder, David Dahl. Swing and a ball lined down in the left field corner. But this is foul near the seats. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Changes up on him there, but it's one and two. I love a well-executed changeup, especially one down. And a fastball in the dirt, but it's blocked nicely as he keeps it in front of him. Here now the 2-2. This is on the ground over to first. Fielded by Abreu. The second for one. And it's not in time. He's safe. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Striding in for the Rockies, Ian Desmond. Now Desmond swings and hits a high fly ball with some carry on it to deep left field. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Colomay answers the ball from the dugout as he'll try to record the final two outs of this one. At the plate now, Ryan McMahon. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. Hit in the air down the right field line. Mazzara is over and he puts it away in foul ground for the second out. Digging in now, Garrett Hampson. He needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. And he gets ahead 0-1. Three runs already home here. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to 1-1. One one. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Last strike now for Colorado. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. Stepping in now, Tony Walters. And so take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Four runs here in this half inning. And it's fouled away. And this crowd wasn't all that big, but they've stuck around to the final out. Fouled off. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Fouled away. The next 0-2. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. In comes Mazzara, and he tracks it down. And this ball game is over. You want a quick series like this, you take the first one, you're guaranteed at least a split. They'll take that every single time. 7-4 is the final score in tonight's game. Chicago jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Carlos Radon earns his fifth winner of the year, turning in eight and a third of quality work. John Gray settled with a loss after giving up only one earned. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Baskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Eight hits.